Here are all my income streams as a 22 year old living in New Zealand. I wanted to make this video for two reasons. One, for my personal benefit so I can look back a couple years down the line and see if I've added more income streams or to see what has changed. And secondly, in hopes that it inspires other people out there in order to start diversifying your income streams and pick up more so you can get a little bit closer to that financial freedom. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number one is through affiliate marketing. Now I've made lots of videos on this on the past, but basically affiliate marketing is when you promote a product or a service and get a unique link. And when a customer clicks on that link and buys the product or service, you get a small commission for being the middleman or the promoter. Now I've got affiliate links on my profile on TikTok. I've got affiliate links in the descriptions on YouTube. And I also do affiliate marketing outside of my personal brand and promote other products through paid ads and other online platforms such as Pinterest and Twitter or X. In my opinion, this is one of the best sources of income as it's pretty much passive once you've set it up. All you have to do is promote the link and people click on it and you just get money in the bank. It's not that difficult to do. You just need a bit of a following to start up with. It'll make it much easier, but it is possible without it. It'll just take a little bit more work. Now these affiliate programs vary quite a bit. Some of them only pay up to one to two dollars for a sign up and some of them can pay up to five hundred dollars once a customer purchases a product. So each week it varies quite a bit on how much I make and so I can't really disclose an exact amount as it's not very predictable. Number two is my physical service based business. I currently run a yacht detailing business over here in New Zealand where I clean yachts as well as other things like Airbnbs and houses. Now I do make a little bit of money off this as it is a business. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory, not much to explain here. Um, I, I mean, I do think starting a business for anyone is good, but obviously it does require risk and risk management, of course, and there are ups and downs of having a business, but it's one of my streams of income and I'm very grateful for it. Number three is surveys. Now I'm gonna be honest, straight off the bat, these don't make me a lot of money and the time it takes for you to complete these surveys probably isn't worth how much you actually get for them. However, it is still a stream of income every now and then while I'm waiting for an appointment or if I've got 30 seconds spare, might just open my phone, finish a survey off real quick, get a little bit of extra pocket money. So, yep. The main survey websites and apps I use include Adipol, Octopus Group, Pure Profile and Influence. And depending on the length of the survey, you can get paid from up to one cent or um, <laughs> all the way up to, you know, around five to ten dollars, depending on how long it takes. And again, this is just a little bit of pocket money, maybe around an extra fifty dollars I get a week. Nothing much, but hey, better than nothing. Number four is from UGC content. Now, UGC content is basically when you make content for a brand. Um, the difference between this and sponsorships is sponsorships are generally frequent, so they keep paying you monthly or possibly, you know, a big fee for you to keep promoting them. UGC is generally one-off, could be multiple, but the content you make is for their brand. So they'll post it on their page, whereas sponsorships you generally post on your page. And again, these range significantly. Some UGC content has only paid me $20 to make a video, whereas some have paid me over thousands of dollars. Um, and to find these UGC content, you know, you can reach out to big brands or you can search for a UGC marketplace on Google, such as this one here. Now, number five, we have background extra work. This is basically me auditioning or requesting to be in a role for a movie. Um, obviously not the main cast or anything, but generally background characters, you know, if you see a movie and you see people walking in the background, you know, things like that is what I generally apply for. Um, these are a great source of income in my opinion because, you know, it's a good little side hustle. You do have to spend, you know, sometimes a full day or a half day filming on set, but it's a great experience. You network heaps and plus it's not that difficult. You show up, you get dressed up, you walk around and you just listen to what they say. Um, I've been doing this maybe one and a half years. However, it's not really consistent again. It just depends on what filming you know, opportunities are out there and it'll differ monthly depending on what roles are available. Um, you might not be able to suit the, you know, what the character they're looking for, etc. So you know, it's not a very consistent source of income. However, it is still an extra couple hundred in the bank. Number six, we have my part-time job. Not very exciting, but it is, I think it's good to be honest about this sort of thing. Um, I still work a part-time job as that extra money does help each week and plus it's another good place to network. I currently merchandise for two big brands as you can see here. I am thinking of probably easing down either cutting the hours or leaving it soon just because it is taking up a bit of time. But I think having a part-time job helps you while you work on your bigger goals. That way you still have that weekly income. Um, it's quite hard to get you know consistent income unless you have a very secure business but when starting out it can be a bit rocky. 
And the good thing about a part-time job is it's pretty consistent each week. Um, I've pretty much had a job since for the last 10 years or so. So <laughs> yeah, so it's not really a side hustle, but it is an income stream. So I thought I'd share it. Number seven is various online side hustles. Now I grouped this all together in one as I'm not making significant money in any of them really, but it's little small bits of income from all of them. So things I do include drop shipping, it includes free freelancing and reselling online. I personally think it's possible to grow these online side, hu side hustles into full-time businesses. However, I'm not really putting the full commitment into them as I have other priorities. That being said, I think if I did put more work into it, it could definitely be making a lot more money. And again, you know, it's not exactly consistent week by week. They all make different amounts of money. However, another income stream for you guys to know about. Number eight, we have dividends. Now, I absolutely love dividends. So dividends are basically, um, you know, you get a small portion of money for basically being a shareholder in some certain companies. So things like Apple, the S&P 500, um, Starbucks, these all, by being a shareholder in some of these stocks, I get paid a small amount of money as a dividend. Now, these dividends basically pay me a small amount um, and basically I just choose to reinvest it. However, you know, each and it, it is up to you what you decide to do with them. You can get it straight to your wallet if you would like to into your profile rather than reinvesting it. This is just my personal preference. It is not financial advice. Number nine is focus groups. So this is basically whether you as an independent or in a group give feedback on a product, service, or just your opinion on some sort of idea, and they, the companies will pay you in order for you to give your opinion. So I can't get too specific, but a couple of random examples I've done is things like chocolate taste testing and giving opinion on those for upcoming products, things like energy drink tasting, uh, testing for new softwares, testing for safety, how I feel about, you know, construction places in, around town, things about what needs to be fixed in the city, things like that. And they use people's opinion in order to make big decisions down the line and you get paid for it. Again, these differ quite a lot. Some of them have been just paid me $5 for a five minute survey, which, you know, counts as an opinion basically. And some of them has given me $100 for about two hours of work. It all just depends on, you know, what, what, what they're looking for, if you fit the criteria and so on. But again, another good side hustle, a couple of hours a week and you get a couple of extra hundred in the bank. And number 10, finally, I have one-on-one -on -one courses or one-on-one -on -one mentorships. Now, to be honest, this is in a trial stage at the moment. Um, I'm just helping out a few people one-on-one -on -one, and of course getting paid to do so where I teach them all my knowledge. Obviously, it takes up a lot of my time. However, I do start help people start up, you know, certain online side hustles, whether it be drop shipping or affiliate marketing, some sort of niche that I've dabbled in, basically teaching and passing on my knowledge and helping them until they are ready to go. I am currently in the works of making a free free ebook which can teach exactly how you can get started. Um, if you are interested, send me a DM over on Insta, and as soon as it's ready, you'll be the first to receive it. And if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one mentorships or just want a little bit more information about it, feel free to DM me. My DM or email is always open for you guys to hit me up on. I always want to help out as many people as possible. So that is it for now. Those are my 10 income streams I have at the moment. I plan to hopefully pick up some more later down the line. However, I first want to make sure that I focus on these ones first. And once these are doing a little bit better, then I can possibly think about adding more. But again, too, if you know the man who chases two rabbits catches none so I can't be you know doing too much I got to focus on what I have and got to protect my eggs and make sure they grow into hatchlings and grow into baby ducks Okay, I'm taking this way too far, but you get what I'm saying If you would like more information on any of these or would like to see what other things I talk about including side hustles and ways to budget and save better Check out my page over on we money we money is a platform app and community where over 500,000 kiwis and aussies are in a community where they try to help each other budget and save better and be better with money the app can link to your bank account so it can track your expenses so you can see exactly what you're spending your money on as you can see it shows the different categories where you're spending your money on so you can see where you can start saving better Plus, you can track upcoming subscriptions and bills so you can expect it in advance and start budgeting for it. Another feature of WeMoney I absolutely love is the net worth feature. It's always good to have an idea of what your net worth is and how you're doing. Again, it's always important not to compare yourself with others, but to compare yourself with who you were yesterday. And if you can increase this net worth, then you're doing well. There's a link in my bio if you want to download it. By signing up, we both get $5 and you get to join the wonderful community and check out the page. If you do join We Money from that link, feel free to say hi on my profile and I promise I'll say hi back and follow you guys as well.
Hope this helps. And again, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below or DM me directly. I appreciate every single one of you. And for 2024, let's all get our bread up and start working towards financial freedom. Peace.